Now it is time to talk beauty. Welcome back, Danielle. Oh, thank you, Mel. Really nice to have you back in the studio. Today we're talking about sensitive skin. Now, am I right, there's two main kinds of sensitive skin? Yes, yeah, so there's genetically sensitive skin, which is you're born with it. Could be rosacea, you just flush easily. Mm -hmm. And then there's sensitized skin, which could be anything. It could be products and the ingredients. It could be the weather, extreme climate. It could just be stress. It could set you off. Oh, that's annoying. So you could all of a sudden get a reaction to something that you've been using for years. Yeah, yeah. It, it can be a rigmarole trying to work out what it is. It could be that the water you've used to wash your face was too hot or too cold oh. and that will set it off. But there are loads of great products that you can use to sort of yeah. alleviate the sensitivity or, or help in some ways. So what should we be, what are the keys to look for in the lotions and the potions? I think the key phrases to look for involve um, fragrance free, no preservatives, preservatives edited or um, you know any colours keeping it very simple and keeping your skincare simple as well. So you're not going to use a dozen products. You're going to keep it to your main, your moisturiser, cleanser, sunblock, limited. Right, okay, there's some there. The thing is also, though, with no preservatives, that means the shelf life and things going to be shorter as well? Not necessarily. They just use natural ingredients to do it. Okay, so what should we avoid? Well, I guess it's, it's kind of keeping everything. You're not looking for ingredients with over 10 and not looking for products with over 10 ingredients. Okay. You're keeping it simple. You're looking for calming ingredients like chamomile, cucumber extracts, oat extracts. Um, you know, you're keeping your sunblock on because that can also cause photosensitivity if you get burnt. Right, so less is best. Less is totally best. In this case. And it's not a case of one size fits all either, is it? No. No, so that's why it's really important before you try using any new product to do a patch test. So I'll, I'll show you one if you like. Mm -hmm. um, what you do is just... Pop a bit of product on. Don't put it straight on your face because if you do get a reaction like burning or itching... That's or not sick, ideal. Mm -hmm. It's not great. So pop it just in the middle of your elbow there. Um, rub it in or behind your ear if you'd prefer. Um, and just leave it 24 hours. And if you do have a reaction, you'll know then. OK. Let's have a quick chat about some of these incredible products yeah. that you have brought in. This EcoStore one. I've used yes. EcoStore stuff before. That's lovely. Yeah. It's great because it just keeps everything simple. You know, they have a great um, laundry, laundry detergent as well. Because, you know, I mean, your clothes, what you put on your clothes will affect you as well. And what about this one? What's a calming spray, a calming mist? Oh, that's fantastic. Keep it at work. Keep it in your bag. If you have a flare-up or a reaction, a couple of spritzes on your face and it will help. OK. What other ones would you recommend? Um, I love Dermalogica. Um, they're fantastic. They have an ultra-calming range, that's which is beautiful. just amazing for your skin. And I love, love, love Avene. Right. Um, this French brand, I mean, if you have sensitive skin, it's fantastic if, um, you know, I've got a friend whose mother's going through chemotherapy and she's mm -hmm. used it and it, no reactions at all. It's super, super safe um, for other skin conditions okay, as well. Okay, that's good to know. I know that people that do have sensitive skin have an issue quite often with perfume. They can't wear it because it makes the skin blotch and things, but you've got a hot tip about that, haven't you? Yeah, because I mean, we all want to wear perfume and smell nice. So basically, lie down your clothes on the bed before you get ready, couple of sprays, leave it for a few minutes to dry, then pop your clothes on. Awesome. So put it on your clothes first. Wonderful. Danielle, it's been a pleasure having you in the studio and we shall see you back soon.